Hi, I'm Tammy, Program Director of the First Tee of the Golden Owls, and I have Coach Mason uh, Scott here with me today, and we're going to talk about respect out of the player level book. Uh, Mason, what, uh, what does respect mean to you? For me, respect is um, it's being nice, being kind to others, and it doesn't matter who it is. It could be my friends and family, somebody that I've never met before, uh, and anybody that I'm interacting with on a daily basis. I'm, I'm going to try to be as nice as I can to them and, um, and show them the, the most gratitude I can. So what does that look like? Like, what are some examples of how you would show respect, say, for example, to your parents? Definitely. Um, it's super important, I think. That's well, you know, some people that you should really show respect to is very important. But, um, you know, when they're, when they're telling me things that I need to do, the things I need to work on, or reminding me of some things that I may have forgotten about, it's, it's acknowledging that they're, they're there to try to help me and, and take their advice and what they're telling me and, and use that to try to better myself. Yeah, I love that. Um, what about, like I know you're not in school anymore, but if you were to give an example to um, some of our participants that are watching out there, um, what respect would maybe look like inside the classroom or at school? Like what, what would be some good examples of that? Yeah, definitely. I think the most important thing is, is listening. That's probably the, the biggest way you can show respect in school, listening to your teachers and, and classmates. If, if they're talking about something, it's their turn to speak and, and, on, and, and waiting until it's your turn uh, to talk and not being interrupted because there's other people learning there with you. So it's super important that you're showing respect to not only the teachers trying to deliver you that content, but also the other kids in the classroom that are, that are trying to learn just like you are. Great, great answers. Um, and a lot of this um, player participants is in your first uh, player level yardage book, and it um, it's on page four. And it's also along goes along with the first T code of conduct. So we talked about respecting others. Mm -hmm. What are some other things that we should, or other people that we should respect? One that I think is overlooked a lot is respecting yourself. We we tend to when we think of respect, it's it's everyone else in front of us, but we kind of don't look back on ourselves. So I think respecting yourself is is super important as well. And and that can be done in many different ways, whether that's you know how we take care of ourselves with what we eat and how much sleep we get, but also uh, you know things that we like to do and making sure we're having fun and we're, we're getting better at those things, whether that's a sport or a hobby, just practicing and, and getting better, that can be a way of showing respect to ourselves. Right, and I really love that because it goes in line with our healthy habits as well. So you were talking about eating the right foods and you know, one of our healthy habits is energy. And so I love that you had mentioned that because, you know, we do, um, you know, respect ourselves when we're putting the best sources of energy into our body. So eating mm -hmm. the right things like fruits and vegetables and, and uh, that kind of thing. So I love that. Um, so there's a third component to the first T code of conduct. Uh, so we respect others and we respect ourselves. What's the third thing? The third one is uh, respecting our surroundings. So that's you know, the golf course. If we're out on course um, playing and we make a divot, we take a divot in the fairway, it's, it's respecting those surroundings to fill that divot to replace that. Or if we're, we hit a shot into the green and we make a ball mark, it's fixing that ball mark. Or if we're in the bunker. So it's taking care of those surroundings when we're on the golf course. And even when, the, when we're off the golf course, uh, respecting you know, maybe your brother or sister or somebody lets you borrow a toy or something that that's not yours it's showing respect for that equipment and those different things because it's not yours and you can't always treat things uh, the way that you wish you could right that's great um so guys that's respect um welcoming showing respect in the first t code of conduct thank you so much for joining us today